Russo. Uh, I'm the artist exhibiting here tonight, and I'll tell you a little bit about my exhibit. My exhibit is, is New Zealand themed. The title I picked out was To Hunga Ta Waka Hao Maui Mao, which is artist vision in Maori. Obviously, I'm not fluent in Maori, but I did want to include the, the, the title of the show that way. These pieces that are on either side of me are from New Zealand. This is the York Channel just above uh, the South Island. I was on the ferry at the time. I took photographs. This is from the photographs. While these little watercolors on my right are actually from site, they're done plein air. They're done exactly on each of these sites. These two are from the South Island in the area that I went to. Picton uh, is the town. This is from the Wellington area. This is a fountain that's in the Wellington Harbor, and this is across from where I stayed in the apartment uh, where, the sh where the ships come in. There were some cargo ships there. So I hope you enjoy my exhibit, and I will continue to show you some more this evening. This is an oil painting I did after I got back from New Zealand. It is from the South Island, um, Queen uh, Harbor, near the Picton area. I was up on a mountain taking the photographs. It's done in oil, and oil is one of my favorite mediums to paint at any point in time. But uh, I wanted to capture the richness of the area and oil painting. Uh, using oils helped me to achieve that. This is done in watercolor. I often use watercolors to do quicker studies than I do in oil. But they do have a finished look also, especially the larger ones. A lot of commission work I do in watercolor because of the detail I can achieve and it's a, a lot lighter and airier than, than oils. Okay, this is my field sketchbook that I had while I traveled in New Zealand and hiked. Um, I tried to do uh, artwork every day, and I'll flip through it quickly. Uh, they will they'll stay in the book. I won't ever take them out because I've got notes uh, beside each work on the things that I was doing at the time and the location. But it's interesting, and they're all done in watercolor or pencil ease of transport when you're doing plein air. This is another media. This is pastel. It's, it's a chalk pastel. And I chose it for this subject because I wanted to capture the softness of the afternoon light with, with the sheep. But it is a dry chalk pastel media. This is done in graphite, uh, another media I use very often for animals and uh, commission work. You get a lot of detail. Lots of people prefer the black and white because it doesn't uh, uh, interfere. It gives only, you only concentrate on the subject. The question was advice, if you're painting your subject, you really need to know it. The better you know your subject, the more accurate your anatomy and your expression and all the components that make it a good picture will come together when you do it. So research your subject, know your subject. Um, I know my subject because I wrote them, trained them, handled them for years and years. And that's very, very helpful when you go to do your animals especially my courses. <laughs> 